Man, my mental bench back then was struggling to do a push-up. My mental bench today is like, uh, well, I'm an, I'm, I played offensive line, so I'm gonna think in football terms. And a, a great offensive lineman is at least getting upper 20s on the 225 bench press test. So I'll give myself that much credit. I'm Mike McCrory, the Director of Mental Skills for Team Envy, the Dallas Fuel, and the Dallas Empire. And what that means is I serve as a mental skills coach for the players and staff of our teams. And what a mental skills coach does is they help these individuals focus on and enhance the psychological or the mental component of their performance. There's not a usual day in eSports, you know? just because it's so young and it's like finding its way. Uh, the first tip I would say is act upon that interest and go educate yourself. Uh, I recommend going for a master's degree or higher. The, this is gonna really offer the experience where you can get the education and the training necessary to then be working with players and working with athletes. You know, we're asked to make decisions about what we wanna do and what we wanna be in life at a really early age, but developmentally, we haven't really settled into who we are till our mid to late 20s. So yeah, I did six years of school, I don't think I can say I loved every moment of all six years of school because that's just a long time to be in the classroom. Um, but I appreciate all six years of schooling that I did because every single moment was experience, it was a lesson, and it did lead to where I'm at today. Uh, tip number two I would have is seeking out the Association of Applied Sports Psychology. They're an organization that uh, really sets a standard for reliable and trustworthy practitioners in the field of sports psychology. They offer a certification uh, called the Certified Mental Performance Coach, CMPC for short. Uh, in order to achieve this certification, they require that you have a master's level degree or higher, that you have been supervised in work done with athletes, and that the supervision was conducted by a current certified mental performance coach. And then lastly, they have you take a test. And once you pass that test, then you are all clear to become a CMPC yourself. The third thing you need to do is just get out there. Say yes to anything because the longer you spend contemplating is this the right thing or should I even be jumping in, you might let opportunity pass you by. So just getting your foot in the door is really the most crucial step. Personally, that happened when you know I was offered a job uh, with the Dallas Mavericks. They're an NBA basketball organization. My expectation coming in is it's, it's basketball uh, and then I was just lucky that they had an esports team and they asked if I would be interested in working with their esports team. And of course, I just said yes because you should say yes to everything. The reason I think you should just say yes to anything is at the early stage of your career, the main goal or focus should just be reps. This is getting as many reps as you can, as much experience as you can, and honing in and fine tuning those skills. Anytime you consider the word opportunity, it's hard work and luck meeting one another. So uh, there was a lot of hard work, a lot of studying, a lot of time, you know, a lot of working for free that got me to this point. But to talk to anyone and tell them that zero luck involved would just be a flat out lie. There was a huge amount of luck involved in getting to where you are because like I said, opportunity is hard work and luck meeting one another. I think when it comes to finding those opportunities, those chances to say yes to something, it's a lot of it is putting yourself out there one recommendation that was given to me in grad school was to make one professional contact per week. So if you're interested in pursuing this path, like I've said, it's really important to act on that interest and go seek out higher education. The next step is to participate in a professional organization. And then lastly, like I've said before, say yes to anything and really just jump in and focus on getting as many reps as you can in that early stage of your career. I really hope these things help you and you can begin your journey on being in esports.